Hi, I'm Seamless, and in association with ADSR, this is more workflow tips for FL Studio 12. If you like this content, feel free to subscribe to the ADSR channel, because there'll definitely be more of it. This one is going to be about ghost notes, otherwise known as ghost channels. So here we have um, some notes. We say, say this is a progression that I want to write. Now I want to write some stuff to the progression. Well, I have in the same channel, I can come up here, but say I forget, I don't remember what the notes are because I can't see them. I can either go back and look, or I can go into helpers, and I can enable ghost channels. Poof. This allows us to see uh, the other channel that has, you know, the information on it. And so now I can come in here, and I can, I can put down notes that are like, yeah, I can write it now, so I can do whatever it is that I, you know, wanted to do. And other fun things, if I have... Uh, more than you know a whole bunch of these because now both of these will actually show up in the stack uh, if, if, as long as I'm inside one pattern and I, if I double right click on one of these notes it'll take me to the channel that is that um, that thing so that like if I want to if I listen to what I'm doing and I want to move something around I don't have to I don't have to go back to the the sequencer to open it up and like come in here and take that I can actually just double right click and go there and that's the end of that I can also take it a step further by coming into the uh, helpers channel and I can tag along uh, ed editable ghosts, or I can now just straight up move the ghost notes and alter their various properties, that kind of thing. So, like, if you if you ever want to do that by controlling multiple more thing at once, you can do that. I personally find that it kind of gets in the way, but for certain uh, things, it could definitely come a lot of handy. I, I definitely feel that at least the default uh, behavior of ghost notes, being able to see the ghost notes, being able to switch between uh, ghost ghosted notes like that, is required. If you're gonna, you know, have any kind of good time writing stuff and multiple parts in different channels in the same pattern, it makes life so much easier. And I cannot imagine life without it. Anyway, that's Ghost Notes. If you have any questions about that, please let me know. Don't forget to subscribe to ADSR and all that good stuff. And as usual, have a nice day.